Good day, second graders. Boy, am I gonna miss you this year's. I hope you guys are all having a very good time at home. Um, I'm sure you're missing your teachers, but every spring I get to come and I get to spend the whole entire day, um, two days actually, in second grade. And I get to teach you guys how to paint an eagle with a flag for flag day. All right, so I am gonna do one for you. Um, your teachers should have all of your stuff to you guys. So what we're going to need, you're going to need a pencil for paint. We're going to have white, red, blue, a little touch of black. You don't need very much brown and yellow. And for your paint brushes, whatever size paint brushes you find nice and comfy to use. And we need some water. Do not drink that. And we're going to need some paper towels. All right, so we are going to be doing an eagle. And in the background is going to be the American flag. Okay, so it's going to be like a symbol of the American flag. So what we're going to do is we're going to take whatever brush we feel comfortable with first, or you can also do it with a pencil. I will do it with paint so that you guys can all can see, but you guys can do it with paint or with a uh, pencil. We're going to start off. If you're gonna do it with paint, just use a little bit of yellow. So we're gonna start down here. This is going to be the back of your eagle. We're gonna make this one little loop coming on up. And we're gonna come up and around and we're gonna make a little hook. Okay, so this will be the top of its head. This will be the back of its uh, back. We're just gonna make this hook and coming right on down and make a little loop coming on in. So if you wanna make them a bigger chest, you're just gonna go ahead and bring this on out. Okay, so your bird needs a beak. So this will be the top of its head. We're gonna come straight on across and we're gonna make a little downward sloop for the beak. Come back in. Kind of looks like a seagull right now. Okay, I'm gonna make his head just a little bit flatter. Bald eagles kind of have a flat head. It's kind of interesting. Okay, we need to find out a little space for his eye. So here's his beak. His eye is gonna go right on over here, making a little loop coming on up and down just like a real eye. And with my paint or with my pencil, this is going to be the white part up in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make a couple little, little pulls. So this will be the darker area. All right, so while this is doing its thing, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back in. We're going, we're going to fill in the background with the reds. We're going to keep out the whites for now. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to take my red and a clean brush. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Make one little swoop. So this is going to symbolize a flag waving in the wind. Now you need to go ahead and separate. So we're going to go ahead and jump over. This is going to stay white. So what happens when you get to the, the beak or the part of the bird? You're gonna stop. All right, and then you're just gonna continue like you're jumping right over the top. Okay, same thing. As soon as you hit that beak, you're gonna stop. Okay, and we're gonna continue this all the way down. You can make it as wiggly as you would like. And as soon as you hit the bird, I need you to stop. And then we're just gonna pretend like we're going straight on through. And we're gonna continue on the other side.
Okay, and we're gonna continue right on down. And we're just gonna stop when we get to the bird, and we're gonna jump it right on over. Okay, so now we have our spaces in between. Now, if we kept this just white without touching up with a real white, you're gonna definitely notice the difference. So I'm gonna clean up my brush really good. I'm gonna grab my regular white, and we wanna go right in between. So if you grab white and red, it makes pink. So I kinda like that, that little bit of pink. It kind of reminds me that it just kinda all blends together. And you wanna do this when it's still in the wet. Just easier to help drag it across. Now, if you would like it to be a little bit more pinker in between, just a little baby touch of your red with your white. But kind of gives you that visual like something is moving. Okay. Okay, right on down. And we're still doing the same thing. Once we get to the bird, we're just gonna stop. Now, if you get too much pink or too much of your color in, involved, you can just wait till it dries, hit it back up. All right, so now we have our red, white, and we'll have our blue uh, with our stars afterwards. So we're just gonna let that dry up. Now we get to work on the bird. Okay, so up here, this will be the whitish part of the bald eagle. Down here will be the darker part of our eagle. Okay, so what I'm gonna do for the lighter part, I'm gonna go white, but I'm gonna add just a baby touch of my brown. Just a little baby touch. Now, if you wanna find a little spot and make a little bit of a tan, Go for it. I'm gonna do just the head around the eye. I wanna go over, if you painted this the first time with your yellows, I want you going right on over all of those lines. If you grab some of the red, don't worry too much about it. We're gonna hit it back up with our white afterwards. We need it to be just a little bit darker when we first do it, not too dark where we can't tell the difference between the body and the head. All right. So now we get to go down into the body. I'm just gonna grab my brown. Now you could also grab some of your black and bring it on in, just a little baby touch. A little black goes a really long ways. And I'm just filling out the body. Now, when you get into this area right here, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the skinny part of the brush and I'm gonna flick upwards. We're gonna go back in with the brighter color of our white. right into his back. I like to give it, just taking the, the skinny part of the brush, kind of giving these quick little juts, um, kind of gives you this feathery kind of feel. Okay, we're gonna go up into his beak. Now you could also mix yellow and red together, make a little bit of orange, but they have a little bit more of a yellow beak. So keep on the yellow side. Now this, you'll probably wanna to go to a smaller brush. And I like the beat coming in just a little bit. So see how I just brought it in just a little bit. You can even take some of that white in there. 
Now, believe it or not, these birds actually have a yellow brownish kind of eye. So if I take a little bit of my brown with my yellow, and you go right on in. Just darken up that center just a little bit. So while this part is drying, usually you guys would have more time in the classroom. So at any time that you feel like you need to pause, um, you feel like I'm going very fast, just pause it and you'll be able to pick it right back up. I'm gonna go back in with a clean brush with more of my white. I'm gonna take the skinny part of the brush. So grab a little bit of that red. Yep, on the side, no worries. Clean up that brush. All right, so I'm gonna go right on into its head. Now you also, if you're working like today's kind of rainy out, so the humidity is a little bit higher. And if you find that your, your paint's just not drying, you can just wait just a few minutes or get the uh, hair dryer out with your parents or whoever's watching it. And they can help you right on out. Just make these quick little flicks. All right, so what we're gonna need, we're gonna need that small brush one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it off. Now, this is where you could go brown or a little touch of your black. Now you have your beak. Where it opens and closes. They have a little nostril. Okay, we have around the eyes. I like just a little bit in that center. Like he's looking at you. All right, and you can even do around the beak. So you could do the whole entire beak if you wish. Going right around the top. And right into where it changes. I like to do just a little bit of black right there. Now, if you get nervous using the black for these purposes, you can use a permanent marker afterwards with, just ask for the permission first. Okay, so she's looking. He's looking pretty good. You could also use any kind of black and brown for like a little bit of your shadowing. So just a little shadowing there. All right, so what we need to do next is we're gonna go in, we're gonna do the stars, and of course, the one color we have not used yet is our blue. So this is gonna be based off of the brush that you feel comfortable with. If you wanna go ahead and clean a brush, there is a couple different ways of doing stars. So back when I was in kindergarten, I had a teacher that taught us how to do stars because she didn't like giving out stickers. So we all learned how to make stars real fast. So we're gonna go up and down, and across and back and this way. So this is the old fashioned way of doing it. I'm gonna show you how to do the capital A, capital A one, two just like we do a capital long part in the middle and we're we're going to just connect so we're going to go blue i'm going to show you the capital okay so we're going to start just like we would at a this is going to be the long part in between we just get to go ahead and fill her on in My red is definitely not dry yet. So if you come across this, you could also wait till it dries 
or you can go ahead and use a, um, a hair dryer in between. Just the humidity level's higher. So we're gonna do that again. We're gonna make a capital A. And we're just gonna connect and connect. And then we get to just fill her on in. So I'm gonna show you the old school way. Up and down. And across and over and back. Okay, so you can have as many or as few as of these you would like. Let's go ahead and fix this. All right, I'll do one more old school. Need one more. Oh, I gave him a little bit of blue on top of his head. So if something like that happens, if you just scoop it, just take it with my finger. You can take it with a clean paper towel. And then I can go back in and fill her on in. So you just want to pick up as much of that wet paint as you can. I might go a little bit darker with a touch more of the brown on the top, just so it doesn't blend on in. And you can always go back through and make this guy a little bit more um, feathery, just by taking the brush, the skein part of the brush, making these quick little feather motions. Now you can use a little bit of your yellow with your brown or white with your brown. Or even if you want to go a little darker, you can. And there you have it. You have a completed bald eagle with an American flag. I hope you guys all had a fantastic uh, Flag Day celebration. I know that the second grade, yeah, second graders in Peru, you guys go all out. Um, and I wish you guys have a happy summer after this. And hopefully I get to see the class next year. Have a great one, guys.